you led the strategic transformation of a traditional manufacturing company to an end-to-end -end solutions provider. Now, in your current capacity, you are in many ways leading the fight against COVID. Two very different responsibilities. In your opinion, what leadership attributes were helpful for you in navigating the different roles, sectors, and business models? Hmm. Actually, they're pretty similar. There's not a lot of differentiation in terms of the leadership attributes that needs to come along with both roles. Firstly, you need to be flexible. Secondly, you need to be to recognize the trend as it is and move ahead of your times and not be a follower. For example, I think um, in precision engineering, we actually saw the trend moving away from just being a contract manufacturer to taking the lead, being a more critical part of the supply chain, providing the engineering inputs and product improvement. I think that's one. But for instance, in healthcare, I think we were very fortunate we were a little bit ahead of the curve from other competitors because um, we actually had uh, telemedicine already in place in 2019. That came in very, very handy in 2020 when people were too scared to go to the doctors and they had to stay at home during the circuit breaker. Telemedicine allows people who need to see a doctor to get consultation without physically being there. That allows also the doctors to then triage a patient on whether they need to go to A&E, they need physical examination, or they just simply need medication, in which case we could just then dispatch it to the house. I think that was a very, very fortunate move that we have. And I think it's similar amongst all business line. The need to be ahead of the curve and the need to transform all the time so that you can meet future market needs rather than to try and meet a need that's already historical. Sheila, it's interesting that you mentioned about agility um, as being an important attribute for CFO. Uh, in Hydric and Struggles, we define agility into four different components, foresight, learning, adaptability, and resilience. And from our assessments, many CFOs fall short in terms of uh, foresight, uh, mainly because they are very focused on the operational aspect of finance. We encourage aspiring CFOs to be more involved in commercial discussions, strategy planning, so that they can have this uh, view of what's going to come in the future and plan ahead. And I believe that will be very helpful for CFOs as they contribute as a business partner to the organization. Mm -hmm.